What's going on guys? Dan Watson and I've got the Sony A9 right here and I want to kind of run down some of the specs on this thing. It's got a brand new 24 megapixel sensor and this is actually the first stack CMOS sensor and what that means is super fast readouts for pretty much everything and what that's going to mean is we're actually going to get 20 frames per second shooting. Uh, you can shoot up to 32,000 of a second on the shutter and uh, that's pretty amazing for that one. Now a couple of other things on here we have 693 autofocus points phase detection covering 93 percent of the viewfinder so really nice system that's going into that. It does have a touch screen from the a6500 so far I would say there's a little bit of lag on the on the touch screen just like we had on the a6500 so a little bit unfortunate but it does have it and again that's only on the touch to focus not on the touch screen in general it's the same articulating mechanism that we're used to it actually feels very similar similar in the hand to the A6, to the uh, Sony A7R Mark II, and that's pretty much a good thing. It can be a little tipsy with some of these larger lenses. This is a brand new 100 to 400 millimeter lens as well that they just announced for it. This is a G Master lens as well. And so it seems, uh, it seems a little bit front heavy, not having a big grip that we would expect from like a Canon 1D X Mark II or something of that nature. But it can, Sony seems to be putting it kind of in that price range and a little bit closer to those cameras in terms of features. Hey guys, I'm Sally Watson, and um, I wanted to give my first impressions on the Sony A9. I am absolutely in love. I have been shooting uh, with my husband weddings for a really, really long time, and I have always loved my Canon. I've never wanted to switch from my Canon because um, pretty much everything. I love the ergonomics of my camera. I love how easy it is to use. I do have to say though that the 20 frames per second for a first kiss would be pretty awesome. The fact that I would never miss a first kiss, that pretty much blows my mind. Um, I like the ergonomics of the camera. Now, I do like the bulkiness of my camera. I'm one of those weird photographers that carries two camera bodies all the time and I, I love it. I, I do not mind it at all. But the fact that this is small now, and I, if I'm carrying two camera bodies, this won't be so bulky, um, I love that. Another thing I love about it is uh, the fact that it has no blackout. The fact that I can see my pictures right away is huge because I don't want to miss that moment. I'm a moment photographer, so when I'm capturing the story of the bride and groom, I don't want to have to sit there and be like, okay, guys, hold on one second. Let me look at my picture. I can just see it right then. Um, I am super impressed with this camera. I cannot wait to shoot with it. Now one thing that's always been a little bit on the downside with the A7 series cameras has been the battery life, and it just simply wasn't a big enough battery for a professional camera that's just as powerful as these cameras are. Well, now that seems to be a thing in the past because we have a new battery is much larger and heavier duty and it looks like this thing is going to power this for quite a bit longer than our previous systems and we also have a battery grip that also looks very nice and will allow you to hold multiple batteries in there as well for even more battery life. We are retaining the same image stabilization system from the A7R Mark II, although this one, as Sony says, it's good to about five stops, which is actually pretty incredible. And a new viewfinder is here as well. This thing is actually pretty nice. We actually have 3.9 million dots, which is uh, brighter and more resolution than we've had in virtually everything in the past. Now the body's even able to hold a new LAN port, and so for tethered shooting, this is great. And if you're a wireless shooter, we do have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and NFC, so virtually everything that you could imagine. Now on the video side of things, it looks extremely similar to the A7R2, although we have dual cards and touch focus, and the faster readouts are also gonna make things a little bit better. Now 4K shooting is here up to about 30 frames per second, as well as the slow motion modes up to 120 frames per second and 1080p. So that puts it on par with most other cameras in this kind of range. Basically everything that Sony has been known for, and the A9 is capable of a full sensor readout with 2.4x oversampling for improved video quality. It does it very similar to how the A6500 is working. Now files are stored at 100 megabits per second at XAVC, but HDMI output is gonna allow you to go to 4.2.2 files, and that'll be much nicer if that quality is important to you. So overall, things have seemed pretty impressive thus far. I mean, it was tracking incredibly well, focusing on virtually everything that I shot with it. I'm gonna have some more hands-on time with this tomorrow. So stay tuned, subscribe, follow me there. Also, I'm gonna be posting a lot of these pictures that I can on our Instagram page and Facebook. So follow me at Learning Cameras and you get a whole lot more. So that's it for now, but we're gonna have a whole lot more with this camera and I'm excited for things to come.